I know that a lot of emotions are stirring in your households, a lot of passionate conversations, a lot of emotions that need to be grounded or settled. And I ask that you do your best. You do your best to, to really ground and um, remain sovereign and whole within your values because there's a lot happening, a lot flying in the air. And it's, it's very easy to become, um, you know, distorted in it all or confused or taken by it. This month is going to really test us. This month spiritually is going to test us. You know, we thought the pandemic itself was testing us, the pandemic hitting, you know, at the top of the year. No, um, this month is the, is the start of something really, you know, that many of us have never seen. So our, our spiritual foundations <laughs> right now, even as they're changing and evolving, um, are really important, really important, okay? Your relationship with God so that you're not forwarding too much of your power into man is paramount right now. And I feel like what God is showing me is that's what's going to keep you, that's what's going to keep your feet on ground, um, solid ground, solid ground. Because there's this gust of wind blowing, right? And I see, what I see is someone holding onto the pole and the pole that they're holding onto, right? The pillar that they're holding onto is keeping them from flying away with whatever is, is taking them up in the moment. So I feel like that's our values, but also our relationship with God. We have to kind of withdraw from what's happening in the world right now in some way or another. I know that Again, you may have friends and family that are really moved by this and they're in it. They're really heavily inundated with, with the happenings of the matrix and whatnot. And of course, we need to be informed, you know, but in the same breath, because we're being prepared for our refuge, we'll get to that because I heard that very clearly. We have to withdraw. We're not going to the same places as everyone else. Although we may be on the same planet we're not going to the same places. So there has to be, there has to be a divide. You know, I, I was picking up the divide in general, but what God is saying is right now, there has to be. <sighs> there are no saviors in human form other than the Messiah. So when it comes to this presidential, you know, election, we have to understand that. We have to understand that. And when I heard resist the wicked, he showed me that a lot of us are going to be introduced to strange temptations this month. Strange temptations, meaning you may have an inclination to do something that you've never considered. Perhaps it's because of the way the world reacts with whoever wins. Say people go out onto the streets and start to really show up in a way that they choose, whatever. There may be strange temptations within that. If your friends and family are showing up in a way, having a reactionary response to what's happening in the world right now. Listen to your spirit. And if it feels strange, if it feels like it's bringing you out of your personal sovereignty and your values, resist it. And you know, for the longest time we talked about resistance being a blockage, but no, see, this is, this is the beauty of evolution. Understanding our personal emissions of resistance is also allowing us to utilize it as a tool when necessary. So we can add it to our arsenal we can pull from it when we when we need to we understand how we're resisting what's for us but then we also understand what needs to be resisted because there's something else for us so resisting the wicked and you know i had a dream you all a prophetic dream that biden won and we're not going to go into the politics of how i feel about that N never okay maybe on my other channel but not not here um, and the other channel is Floral Luminescence. That link is, I'll leave it down below if you're interested, for those of you who are new. Um, but I had a dream that he won. 
And then when he was smiling, I saw him shape shift into his real form. And let me tell you something. Then I heard liar. Then I heard evil. Then I heard some other things that I'll, I'll um, share in good time. But I heard, I heard a lot. And then I saw him, sh again, I saw him shape shift into his real form. And then I saw a brazen fire. We'll see, we'll see, take note of that. And we'll see how things progress. But I saw the image of him winning and then it went up in flames. So this month is going to test us. It's like everything that we've learned up until this point, you guys, is needing to be applied right now in terms of what's happening in the world. So even if there's evildoers or mortals in power, what God is saying, we're not to take part in their deeds and what they invoke. And they're going to invoke a lot in the people around you. So you, you have to resist anything that is a strange temptation, anything that's trying to get you to come out of yourself and your renewed spirit. You know, you're renewing, you're healing, you're evolving, you're growing, you're shifting into your new way of being, thus your new life. Do not allow, do not allow anything to infiltrate that process is what God is saying. So I wanted to read from Psalms 141 for those of you who are interested, um, just to kind of connect the dots to what we've been discussing. So this is Psalms 141. This is a Psalm of David. So I call you, Lord, come quickly to me. Hear me when I call you. May my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. So prayer, sacred prayer, prayer excuse me, sacred prayer is going to be really important this month. God is wanting you to introduce your prayer to, to more, you know, um, involving more of your body, which invites more of your spirit into the ceremony and again incense i don't i feel like the space can also be influenced by beautiful scents um that rise and uplift the energies okay as you lift your hands in prayer set a guard over my mouth lord keep watch over the doors of my lips so saying less saying less being more of the observer here Feel like god is going to introduce that to us in general i feel like you're naturally going to feel that withdrawal from what's happening in the chaos of it all okay and that's a good thing god is guarding your lips guarding what you manifest too because there is a refuge being prepared and right now a lot of people are manifesting unfortunately chaos because they are being influenced by such right so as you withdraw God has a hand in what you manifest by guarding your lips and, you know, allowing you to speak from spaces that are ignited um, through the Holy Spirit, which are more powerful. OK, also, let's see. It says, do not let my heart be drawn to what is evil so that I take part in wicked deeds, along with those who are evil doers. Do not let me eat their delicacies. This is you not drinking the Kool-Aid. You not drinking the Kool-Aid. It's all a deceptive game. Hmm. A lot of you are going to be receiving anointing this month at the same time. Being anointed through this new process. Through what it invites in you. What the world becomes and what that invites within you. What that inspires within you. As you align with the Holy Spirit, you're receiving an anointing. Yeah, I'm hearing the land is living and ready to receive you. The land is living and ready to receive you. So opportunities of expansion in terms of the seeds you plant or the seeds that you have planted. I'm hearing full bloom, 
full bloom. So that's what I have for you, my lovelies. I will see you very soon. Thank you.